Packed her smoke bombs, severed thumbs, junk, junk, junk drawer junk. Postcard from Skeletal. Huh, Denver. Yes, my escape of the mump trick. An important letter for Akira. She always gets the best mail. This is a message for Akira from the Los Angeles Public Library. Foolish mortal, the ancient book of dark magic is long overdue. You have exactly 15 minutes to return this book or suffer the wrath of the public library. Akira! Just a pinch of salt. My Carol! Oh, hey Walker! I was just making lunch. You want some? Uh oh. You're doing that thing where you pant out of breath before you have bad news to tell me. Letter. In flames. What? We have to return the Book of Dark Magic. The angry letter said so. Oh, I get those letters all the time. I got it covered. See this? It's the Krasta Potion. Whenever I have to return the Book of Dark Magic, I just pour some of this on and it magically extends the due date. Isn't that bending the rules? Of course it's bending the rules. You really think I'd give up the Book of Dark Magic? This book has any trick we could ever want. Here, let me show you a new one I've been practicing. Okay. As long as it's not blood magic. <sighs> You know how I get around blood. Don't worry, it's a tame one. I promise. If you say so. All right, this is the extreme palm reading box. I'll just uh, place my hand inside the box. And, oh, can you hand me my fancy pen? Okay. Oh, cool. You're gonna read your palm and then write it down. Yes, but not with the ink. With my blood! <laughs> oh, Walker, Walker, Walker! It's okay, my hand, my hand is fine! <sighs> that is the tame trick! My extreme palm reading says my future looks oh positive. And I'm going down. Walker, it was just a trick! Would it make you less queasy to know how it was done? Maybe. Let's go to the junk drawer. For this trick, you'll need a quill pen, two pairs of latex gloves, red food dye, a cup of water, a spoon, a funnel, a plastic bin, scissors, markers, and super glue. You'll also need to wear a long sleeve shirt or jacket. Start with your scissors and cut a rectangular hole in the small side of the bin. It should be about the size of your fist. Find the circle closest to the hole you just cut. Puncture the circle with your scissors, like this. Add any other decorations you want. Now it's time to make your blood glove. Put a few drops of red food dye in your water. Mix it up with your spoon. Take your funnel and a left glove and fill it up with blood. Make sure your glove is completely filled so you'll get a big explosion. Tie the glove like a balloon. Attach the fingers of your glove together with super glue. You'll need to do this trick in front of a table so you can hide your blood glove out of sight. I'm gonna keep mine in my pocket. That's all the prep, now for the trick. Start by showing off your extreme palm reading box. You can explain that this box is very powerful, so you need to put on protective gloves. Put the right glove on above the table. Now start putting your left glove on and bring your hands below the table, like you're struggling to put on the glove. While you're pretending to struggle, take your glove off. 
Then roll your hand up your sleeve and grab your blood glove. Hold it in your sleeve like this so that it looks like your actual hand. Now bring your blood glove up into view so that it looks like you've just finished putting your gloves on. Quickly put it in the bin. Now pretend that the box is reading your palm. Hold up your quill pen and say you're about to write your palm reading with your blood. Now stab your blood glove through the pen hole. Pull out your hand and assure the audience that you're totally fine. And that's all there is to it. Sweet, I gotta try it. And I'll put my gloves on. Okay, I'll just put my hand in here. And go ahead and grab this and just stab it. And I'm fine. What's that ticking noise? Oh, it's probably the doom timer in the book. It tells me how much time's left until I have to return it. What happens if you don't return it in time? Eh, nothing too serious. Oh, here. I'm sucked into the book forever. Doomed to eternal torment in the land of a thousand paper cuts. Oh, my spy will be used to bind the book. And my blood will be used to print the last edition. So now would be a good time to use the Procrasta Potion? <laughs> you worry too much. Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, okay, we'll, we'll just make more. Uh, okay, I'll need uh, time leaves, a broken watch, and a mermaid's tail. A mermaid's tail? Where am I gonna get a mermaid's tail? Akira, there are no other options. We have to return that before you are shredded. Let's go. Time? 30 seconds. We can still make it. Where's the librarian? Hello, Akira and Walker. Are you here to return that book before you're sucked into an evil book dimension? Yes. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to wait in line. Line? We're kind of in a rush. I said what? Thank you. I'd like to check this book out. That is a bookmark, sir. Excuse me, life and death over here. Okay, um, I'll be back with the book. Okay, take your time. Next. We just need to return the... I'm out of time. from returning this book on time. You need to let her out of here. <laughs> returning this book on time, please. I know she's been putting this off with Procrest Potion. In fact, this book was. Six years, seven days, and 45 minutes overdue. But, but. Pardon me, uh, now, how many of these books am I allowed to check out? Oh, those are still all bookmarks. Ah, uh, sugar plums. <laughs> Easy mm. mistake. Look, the only way to get Akira back is to pay the late fee and check the book out yourself. Okay, what was the late fee? Checking the system. 98 cents. Seriously? You trap my friend in an evil book dementia for 98 cents? I'm a librarian. I do things by the book. <laughs> so if I pay you 98 cents, I can check out the book and bring back Akira? Checking the system. Oh, no. Oh, 
This is a dark magic book. It has restricted access only. Magicians can check that out. Good thing I'm a magician. Well, I'm going to have to see proof in the form of a magic trick. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have the perfect trick. You know how it's so annoying to carry around change? Yes. That's why I carry a dollar bill. But when I need pennies, I just crumple up the dollar and say, presto changeo. Ah, my sensitive librarian ears. Boom. There's your magic trick and Akira's late fee. Very well. There's your change back. And your friend back. My eyes! My eyes are totally fine! Akira, you're okay! You owe me 98 cents. Okay, but first, Lydia, I want to buy the Book of Dark Magic. What? You can't buy a library book. You don't understand. In my travels through the land of a thousand paper cuts, I rode my bookworm from the papyrus plains to Bibliography Bay. And upon reaching the table of contents, I discovered hundreds more tricks in this book. Whoa. You were only in there for like three minutes. Time flies when you're stuck in an evil dimension. So there are hundreds of tricks we still haven't learned? Exactly! Lydia, I know we've had our differences, but I need to own this book. I'll pay you whatever you want. Ideally, Seven cents and a smoothie bar and punch card. I spent all my money on smoothies. Well, the Book of Dark Magic is not for sale. It's owned by someone else. By who? The Shadow Librarians. The Shadow Librarians? <laughs> that time I'm shushing you just because it's a secret. The Shadow Librarians are an ancient order of bookkeepers destined to control all the magic in the world. They are the rightful owners of the Book of Dark Magic. And the best part is, their leader is me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, the same can be said about a librarian who's actually an undercover sorceress. <laughs> Akira, let's get out of here. Not without the book. <laughs> Ow! Ow! You know there's a force field. Why would you reach a second time? Sip, sap, magic sap. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> a wands! Sorry, Akira. No more magical powers for you. Shadow librarians, take them away! What? No! 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 You can't do this! I'm afraid of the dark. I'm scared. Where are we? I have no idea. They put a bag over my head, too. Oh, right. Hey, does your bag smell like fish? What? No. <sighs> yeah, mine neither. Akira and Walker, you stand trial for attempting to steal our book of dark magic. Uh, quick question. Did somebody put a fish in the bag they put over my head? Yes. I knew it. Why did you lie before? I'm sorry. What did you do with our wands? We've trapped them inside the book. It is the ultimate late fee. Late fee, late fee, late fee, late fee, late fee. Akira and Walker, this is your punishment for taking what is rightfully ours. Our book of dark magic. Wait. If the book was yours, then why was it in the library? Long ago, we took it from its previous owner and we've kept it hidden in the library for thousands of years. <laughs> Until Gary accidentally left in the bathroom. Sorry, I like to read in that. Oh, we know, Gary. We share one bathroom. So you stole it too? Hypocrites! No, wait, no, we did no such thing, no. We librarians have sworn to follow the rules to the very letter. We won it fair and square in the Trilusion Challenge. Trilusion Challenge? Yes, 
In order to win the Book of Dark Magic, you must fool its current owner with three magical illusions. So, if we perform three tricks that fool you, we can win the Book of Dark Magic? Oh, Fluff. Gah! That is the rule. And you said yourself, you do things by the book. By the book. By the book. By the book. Okay, fine. But good luck fooling ancient sorcerers without your wands. We don't need our wands to fool you. Trick one. What if I told you I could dislocate my finger? Really? Mm-hmm. You're going to do the whole pull your thumb off trick? Anyone can do that. But can anyone twist their pinky completely around? Oh no, twist it, twist it back! Okay. Lydia, that's a good one. Horrible, yeah, yes, one, that's one. Trick two. Hey Lydia, do you have a pen I can borrow? No, and I'll never get it back. That's okay, I brought my own. The pen is mightier than the sword, but is it mightier than the silk? Abraka ink stain! I'm afraid not. <gasps> That's two. What do we do for our third trick? I think it's time for the oldest trick in the book. Sounds good. For our final trick, we shall perform the oldest trick in the book. A trick penned by the ancient one at the dawn of time. Now, everyone, close your eyes. Go, go. Three, two, one. Alakazam! Who turned out the lights? What is going on? What the... No! The book has disappeared! Fold you! Time to take back our wands. Yes! You will not get away with this! Huevos Librarios. No! That trick went over easy. Got the book. Nice. Aw, they look so cute. We'll get you for this. Let's go. Oh no, I think I'm rolling. Welcome home, Book of Dark Magic. Now we can learn all the new tricks you found. Man, that battle armor was so cool, but it was super itchy. Hey, wanna learn a new trick? Oh, but first, let me show you a trick I did for Lydia before she turned evil. I'll just take this dollar and make a little change. And... Whoa! That was so cool! How did you do that? Super simple. Let's go to the junk tour. For this trick, you'll need a dollar bill, 50 pennies, an empty coin roll, elastic thread, scissors, duct tape, a safety pin, super glue, and a retractable keychain. Start with your dollar bill and safety pin. Puncture a small hole on the back. Now pull out the retractor cord and wrap it around your hand a few times. Then cut off the hook with your scissors like this. Now thread the cord through the hole in the dollar. Tie a knot in the cord to secure it. Put a small piece of tape on the back of the dollar to keep the cord in place. Add a touch of super glue on the front of the dollar so that the hole doesn't rip. Clip the keychain to the inside of your jacket. Now it's time to hide the pennies. Start with your elastic thread and form a loop like this. It should be about the length of your hand. Cut off the thread and tie the ends of the loop together. This creates a loop made out of a loop. It should be big enough to fit around your wrist. Now thread your loop through the coin hole. Put your hand through the bottom loop section. 
put your middle finger through the loop on the other end. Finally, put in all the pennies. That's all the prep, now for the trick. Show off your dollar bill with two hands like this. Make sure you're hiding the coins behind your hand. Also make sure you're hiding the cord sticking out of your jacket. Now bring your hands together and crumple up the dollar. Once the dollar's all balled up, you just let it go. It will secretly shoot in your jacket behind your arm. Finally, bring your hands down like this. Slowly tilt your hands and let the pennies fall out the hidden roll. Your audience will be blown away. And that's all there is to it. Nice, I gotta try this. That was awesome. Right? Let's learn another one. Easiest way to steal the couch ever.